Jason Ponton. I am the editor-in-chief and publisher of Technology Review, which is MIT's magazine specializing in innovation. We have an amazing panel this morning where we will explore uh, taking technologies from lab to the market, the actual process of commercializing the innovations that can change the world. My word to the wise among all of you entrepreneurs is don't gauge the rate at which you're going to be that instant success by how quickly you can develop a technology. I would gauge it by how long it takes the collective culture, any culture, to give up something, even something they're frustrated or unhappy with, and accept something different. Pasteur was not doing science for science. Pasteur was trying to save uh, lives. He was trying to look at why did food go bad. He was doing a practical problem, but he was doing it in a fundamental and principled way. And I think that that's the change that's coming to science. You see it spreading throughout MIT, and it's what we hope to do at the Media Lab. The mobile phones have spread all over the world. And it's strangely, in places where there is no water, or at least portable water, electricity, many other basic necessities aren't there. But mobile phones are there. Why is that the case? Isn't it a little puzzling? So I just wanted to explain to you why. One is that it's a productivity tool. It helps people waste less time, less opportunities, so they get more things done. So if by doing that, people have an ability to pay, that's the point I was making. And as a result, companies can provide these, to Oprah, these tools and they can profit. And that's how billions of dollars are being invested. What are the key requirements to build innovative companies? Really three things. You have to create the innovative environment, protect the innovation, and fund the innovation. You have to recruit top scientific talent that are absolutely committed to scientific excellence. The reason that the scientists are in this game is to translate the science to products. And that has to be the motivating driver, the passion to, uh, to make this, this happen. The whole X Prize was, was put in place to try to say, let's create a new culture of 100 mile per gallon plus vehicles, and let's put a $10 million prize out there for companies that will innovate and take new technologies and move us forward. Because uh, quite frankly, I'm a recovering Detroit automotive executive. And uh, we're stuck in a paradigm. And so how do you break through a paradigm? Well, you break through with a disruptive technology. In terms of our actual venture conception, we like to take even a step further back, where there's actually no technology, and say, OK, what, what are the big problems of the world? And where do we stand from a technology standpoint? Can we find a way to overlay these and build a great company out of that? And it turns out the companies that we've engaged and the companies we've built in that ma manner, whether or not we've put someone from our team in as an entrepreneur, uh, turn out to be the ones that have generated for us the greatest returns.